really strange, to be honest. How would you describe this one's flavor? It's, it's definitely uh, stronger. Lichy. Okay. Do you want to go check out some snacks, maybe? Their biggest complaint is that they just didn't feel like you were giving them enough direction. Look how included they feel now. Like, this is becoming their project, too. Yes. Hey, look how excited he is. Would you come back for more? Yeah. That's great. Ovi and Carolyn were engaging and they were enthusiastic about what it is that we're doing. They were talking to people, getting good feedback. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Yes. Would you come in and buy something walking by? Yeah, I, would. I would. Yeah. So I can have it in class. Yeah. And while Tony started out a little skeptical, he has warmed up, especially once he noticed that customers really liked it. I just picked these up. I thought they looked pretty cool. It's like a watermelon soda. You ever have cucumber flavor Lay's? Very good. Very good, right? This is very good. They really like yeah. the, the mango crepe cake. I don't know if he's completely there yet, but I do like the progress. This is the Asian version of Pop Rocks. Yes. Thanks for, you know, all the feedback. It's really going to help us out. I'm going to have Tony start to work with Precise Graphics, one of the companies inside my portfolio. And I want them to work on a whole new concept for the East Village location. So I was thinking, like, this area over here, we would do some kind of bleacher seating or tiered seating. Yeah. We're thinking a whole new design, new colors and everything. Precise is designing a whole new concept that will incorporate coolers for drinks and display spaces for snacks with cool new design elements that really tie into the concept. Tony is responsible to supervise the demolition and construction. This one, the six gonna stay here, but you're gonna leave here before. You can take this all off. Because Tony's really struggled with keeping things in stock, I've tasked Ovi with coming up with an inventory management system that ensures that the supply chain works and we're never out of anything. What's this? A sold out magnet for the menu? This is crazy town. Finally, there's one more step we need to take to get this company back on track. For me, you need to survive. Yeah, I agree. Right? And you need to be able to provide some stability for you and your family. Absolutely, and I totally agree. I think part of it is we got to fix that production facility. You should not be in the manufacturing business. we got to figure that out. Going forward, I want to show Tony a different way to get his shave cream manufactured. A way that doesn't involve his current substandard facility. I'm going to have to convince him that not only is it a smart thing to do, but in my book, it's essential for him to stay in business. The Emmanuel family, Richard and Michael, are the owners of Mr. Green Tea, a business that I invested in several years ago. And they are the leader in manufacturing Asian-inspired ice creams and Asian-inspired mochi. Tony. Nice to meet you, Tony. I wanted Tony to meet them so that he could see the possibilities of having somebody manufacture his product. So I had a shaver and some cream sent over so Tony can show them his unique dessert. The goal would be to get you out of the expense of production sure. and the expense of logistics and the expense of staff. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I'm, I'm open to suggestions and I'm not just going to say, no, I don't like that idea without thinking about it first. This isn't an attack on Tony's ability. This is a way to make Tony's life easier. It's less than 150 calories for this cup. Really? Yep. It's very good. Yeah, we, use, nice uh, we use ceremonial grape matcha imported okay. from Japan. I would want the flavor, if we're manufacturing here, to match exactly what we're doing. You made this mold, right? Uh, I didn't make the mold, but yeah. You I just use like a tub. Yes. But there can be a more efficient way to make an actual mold. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? More food safe way. So the mold's plastic? Mold's plastic. So you reuse the mold. You I clean. reuse the mold. We clean it and we wash it. So that, so that's, that's like, you can't do that. Yeah, because the correct chemicals you have to use now with the new FDA laws, you'd have to test that those chemicals aren't breaking down the plastic, which they probably are. Coming up. Three years of work I put in, and there's no appreciation I think I owe to myself to, you know, look for other opportunities. Can we get off camera for this? It's like crazy. Tuesdays at KFC gonna get you like, wow, pow, chow, kapow, get down right now. If you know how, then take a bow, because this deal's gonna raise a brow. Get nine pieces of original recipe chicken for an eye-popping $5.99. What the... Every Tuesday at KFC. Every Tuesday from August 12th to September 3rd at participating restaurants subject to availability. At Tesco, we can pop our pasta in your Astra. Our Red Leicester in your Fiesta. 
or our mayo in your Mondeo. All you need to do is try Click and Collect. Just go to Tesco.com, order your shopping, then click and collect. With the minimum basket spend now only £25. And if you fancy something a little more exotic, we can even put our pad thai in your cash kai. Try Click and Collect at Tesco.com. Every little helps. Selected larger stores, booking charge may apply. See online for full terms and conditions. This one shouldn't take long. Of course, if it had a cover, I might not be bothered. Can't see what's under there. And they'd have chained the bat wheel. It would have taken me much longer, especially if the chain's off the ground. Makes it harder to cut. This one doesn't even have a lock on the front. So, in the time I've been talking to you, I've nicked it. Over 9,000 scooters and motorbikes were stolen in London last year. Lock your bike, chain the rear wheel, and cover it to make it harder to steal. Lock, chain, cover. The Met Police. For people who want to feel happier, stronger, fitter, get further, faster, better. For people who want to, but don't always manage to. It doesn't matter how you want to do it, who you want to do it with. It matters that you want to. Virgin Active. We'll find a way for you. Join in September and get 15% off each month on 12-month memberships. Visit virginactive.co.uk. Participating gyms. Terms and conditions apply. Did someone say winter sun? It's that time again. And this year at Jet2 Holidays, we're saying Cyprus. On this incredible island, you get it all. A choice of four- and five-star hotels, amazing ancient ruins for culture-packed days out, hiking and cycling trails for active adventures, and plenty of blue flag beaches for soaking up that winter sun. Book Cyprus now with just a £60 deposit. Jet 2 Holidays. Package holidays you can trust. Apronet or protected, subject to availability and conditions. No. 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 What are you doing? I don't like any of our preset radio stations. Ugh, we need a new car. With the Jaguar E-Pace at two nine nine a month on personal contract hire, you'll find a reason. That's better. And it's a Jaguar. Initial rental, £3,588. 48-month term. Subject to status. 8,000 miles per annum. Excess mileage and return conditions apply. No ownership option. Ends 30th of September. Participating retailers only. Jaguar contract hire. Strength and things. Strength and things. Strength and things. of strings and things called strings and things including cheese strings yollies and new cheese shapes find them all in the cheese and yogurt aisle strings and things i didn't choose you you chose me when you broke from the crowd and poured at my knee soon you'll be feeling right at home you'll be a bit unsure but you're free to roam what's good to chew what's nice to nibble wet food dry food tin food kibble you might sometimes be cheeky not always wise but i know i found love in those poppy dog eyes Join the free VIP Puppy Club from Pets at Home for advice and exclusive offers, including 10% off your first shopping store. Visit petsathome.com forward slash puppy club or join in store. T's and C's apply. Make sure you're uni ready with our huge range of practical essentials and home from home comforts and get 10% off for a limited time. T's and C's and exclusions apply. Dunelm, the home of home. So the mold's plastic? Mold's plastic. So you reuse the mold? I clean. reuse the mold. We clean it and we wash it. So, that, so that's, that's like... You can't do that. Because the correct chemicals you have to use now with the new FDA laws, you'd have to test that those chemicals aren't breaking down the plastic, which they probably are. The fact that Michael just told him that he is violating FDA regulations in the way he's manufacturing food should stun Tony. Because I gotta be honest with you, I'm stunned. Get out of the nightmare of production right now. I, I just, I can't wrap my mind around just getting rid of our production facilities. Okay, well, here's another right. big part of it. When you now go to franchises, you're going to have to come to the table and just show them the facility we make this at is SQF certified. It's GFSI certified. And, you know, these certifications cost hundreds of thousands of dollars sure. a year, every year. Yeah. And so we're in trouble. Right. Yeah, well, that's big trouble, yeah. You opened up in New York City. You had great success. People love it. But it needs an evolution or it'll die. I agree. And relationships yeah. like this will be like gold to you. Tony, you have to evolve, you know, right. and you can't be afraid to do that. I'm telling you from, from experience, you can't be afraid to do that. What they don't know is that the business took a lot of heat for being out of flavors, 
out it's of true. stock, close your commissary, get out of the nightmare of production. It's just like, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. I think that makes sense. That's fair. Let's get going. <laughs> Okay. Let's make some uh, money. Some some money. Days. Thank you, buddy. To say that I'm happy that Tony is handing over the logistical process of making his product is an understatement. And I know it's a huge hurdle, but there's a lot more work to be done. While Ovi is putting in extra hours, making sure the store is ready to open, Tony is scouring the city, looking for more Asian desserts to add to his location. <laughs> now, because of everybody's hard work, the East Village location is just about a week away from opening. For some reason, it's a lot smaller than before. Than before? Yeah. Yeah, so, did you get everything I asked you to get done? All the inventories in, sorted out, get them rescheduled to get the equipment back into the space this week? Um, I couldn't get everything done. Uh, I did schedule the movers, and I'm still working on the catalog for the inventory. You know, we're restarting with everything, and it's a new, you know, a new concept, and there's a lot more that goes into it. Yeah, I get that. It's just that you give me a task, and I'm forced to go at it alone. You know, we're kind of spread thin, and Carolyn's out of town as well. It hits the fan, like, I don't know how much more I can give. It's getting harder and harder, you know? There's no room for the negativity. I, I need you to be on board and just focus on getting this shop open. I pretty much I, give I, it I get it, Ovi, I get it. Like, that's listen, my... Ovi, I, I got an 18-month-year-old daughter yeah. at home. I got a wife that's, like, supporting me right now while yeah. we're going through this process. I need you to be less negative. It just shows me, like, three years of work I put in, and, like, there's no appreciation for it. Like, everything I did just OB. crumbled, and I have to think about, like, what I want to do going forward with my life. I think I owe it to myself to, you know, look for other opportunities. Uh, I, I'm sorry, this is, this is a little, can we get off camera for this? This is, like, crazy. For exclusives, extras, and business advice, visit theprofit.cnbc.com. At Tesco, we can pop our pasta in your Astra, our Red Lester in your Fiesta, or our Mayo in your Mondeo. All you need to do is try Click and Collect. Just go to tesco.com, order your shopping, then click and collect. With the minimum basket spend now only £25. And if you fancy you something a little more exotic, that? we can even put our pad's eye... In your cash guy. Try Please click and collect at Tesco.com. Every little helps. Selected like larger stores, booking charge may apply. Created. See online for full terms and conditions. This one shouldn't take long. Of course, if it had a cover, I might not be bothered. I can't see what's under there. If they'd have chained the back wheel, would have taken me much longer, especially if the chain's off the ground. Makes it harder to cut. This one doesn't even have a lock on the front. So, in the time I've been talking to you, I've nicked it. Over 9,000 scooters and motorbikes were stolen in London last year. Lock your bike, chain the rear wheel, and cover it to make it harder to steal. Lock, chain, cover. The Met Police. You're getting this because you're entitled. You don't need a passport to escape to an island paradise and get that going abroad feeling. Hop on a red funnel ferry for an unforgettable adventure to the Isle of Wight. With sandy beaches, the Needles, Osborne and dozens of attractions for the kids. And with Red Funnel's sizzling summer sale, travel by the 2nd of September and you could save 20% off your short break or get a day return vehicle ticket for as low as £45. Conditions apply. Book today at redfunnel.co.uk. 
spend uh, more time in the stores uh, with the people and less time with the Wall Street analysts. So uh, with Walmart struggling in the second generation of Walmart family management and control of the company, dynamic young CEO Doug McMillan uh, grew up in the dirt poor areas of eastern Arkansas, saw uh, cotton farmers flooded out. Uh, It's where Johnny Cash's brother Jack bled to death because of uh, no hospitals, uh, doctors, uh, med schools. So he re- he really understands uh, poverty and, and tough times and with his dad, a doctor in the Vietnam War. And for a Walton family that's historically uh, big hunters across generations, uh, McMillan's taking a very constructive uh, stance on bringing American flag manufacturing to the U.S., discontinuing Confederate flag merchandise, downshifting uh, dramatically on, on gun sales. So moving in the right direction. We're, we're also seeing terrific leadership, obviously, from uh, Jeff Bezos and also uh, Chris Baldwin at BJ's Wholesale Club, Craig Genelik at Costco, Brian Cornell, Target, Carol Meyerwitz, Ernie, Ernie Herman at TJX. And the, the real award winner, Nathan, coming in uh, new to a company is Sandy Dennis in her back to school field work. We're seeing Staples uh, get back to the uh, roots of the founders, uh, Leo Kahn and, and others with back-to-school welcome centers in the stores, first responders providing safety material, in addition to the local libraries signing up children for books and and library cards. And it's a whole store-wide event, and it's those merchandising events uh, that the department stores that are struggling so much, they've missed that merchandising magic. Uh, The current generation of department and specialty store retailers are running the business from spreadsheets with big consultants firms and they're not talking to their retail associates and and learning the business um, and adjusting the business uh, the way Doug McMillan, uh, Sandy Douglas at Staples, Brian Cornell, Chris Baldwin and others are doing so well for so long. I want to talk about back to school shopping in just a second but when you mentioned Doug McMillan and his leadership at Walmart almost feeling forced to confront the gun control issue in light of all the mass shootings we've seen over the last several months if not years. Are social issues something that other retailers are going to have to look at and think about as they continue to figure out what's going to drive their business in the months ahead? Social issues are key, as you're referencing, Nathan. You're seeing Walmart's uh, scores really increase uh, solar sustainability, uh, higher wages, lower prices, more community, and and overall responsibility. Apple and Amazon are are 100% solar. Apple already, Amazon will be there shortly. Uh, Target and Walmart, Costco and BJ's and Ikea, as well as Aldi, close behind. So if you look at the Bloomberg, the retailers with the highest ESG scores also have the highest stock prices, have the highest enterprise valuations on the Bloomberg terminal. And the retailers that do not embrace ESG are hitting decade lows on their stock prices. And the consumer brands companies that are really like the Flintstones and the Stone Ages, uh, it's Slate Bottom Creek and Gravel, uh, the CPG brand retailers and, and ESG are not listening to what uh, Walmart, Target, BJ's, uh, Costco, uh, and Aldi and others are, are telling them in terms of environmental, uh, social, and governance. And uh, what we're seeing is 90 plus percent of consumers uh, want solar and sustainable energy. And and uh, most, of the, most of the retailers uh, seem to miss uh, what consumers want in terms of the environment and, and ESG. And almost 100% of the CPG brand suppliers are missing it in an entirety. All right, here we are in Labor Day, close to back to school, if not in back to school already. How did the shopping season go? Shopping season was uh, fantastic. Back to school has an all-time record as reported by the International Council of Shopping Centers. Uh, the final numbers will be out in two weeks uh, from today, Labor Day, but uh, but it looks like back to school sales will be up approximately 5%. Uh, spending per family uh, close to $976 with 
key categories being everything from uh, consumer electronics uh, to buying uh, pet products and accessories with a record number of uh, rescue pets, uh, primarily puppies as, as well as kittens being adopted and brought back as, uh, to uh, some schools uh, for a number of colleges and universities and community colleges as pe- people bring their pets to school, especially people living off campus. And finally, Bert, uh, stores are going to be uh, shifting over to the holiday shopping season, getting those displays up if they haven't already. What's the outlook? The outlook is good for the low price leaders you referenced, Nathan. It's uncertain uh, to concerning for the luxury retailers and the retailers affected where tariffs have affected tourism. So travelers from the People's Republic of China down 13% this year. They typically spend $6,700 a day uh, in the U.S., uh, much of that in retail. Tourism is down uh, from uh, Europe, uh, Russia, uh Oil producing areas of the Middle East spend a lot on retail uh, and and uh, particularly in luxury. So that drives holiday. On the other hand, uh, with Walmart and Target and, and the wholesale clubs like uh, BJ's Costco filling the vacuum from uh, Toys R Us and uh, pet driving a uh, new retail demand and uh, lower mortgage rates and more consumer refinancing of mortgage and credit card debt, uh, we're expecting uh, Home Depot and Lowe's to bounce back uh, from their softer numbers to start to get better uh, for holiday. And and we're expecting uh, the better merchants uh, with the best leaders, especially off-price, TJX, uh, Burlington, Ross, and and others to have a spectacular holiday season as shoppers are a lot smarter in price discovery and will find the best places to save both online and off-price in the bricks-and-mortar stores. Bird Flickinger, Managing Director for Strategic Resource Group. Always good to take the pulse of the shopper with you, Bird. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nathan. And that does it for this special Labor Day edition of Bloomberg Daybreak. Make sure to join us again tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Wall Street time for all the news you need to start your day. It's 57 minutes past the hour. I'm Nathan Hager, and this is Bloomberg. Text and whatever. Just don't text and drive. Visit StopTextsStopRex.org. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Dear Calvary Hospital. At Tesco, we can pop our pasta in your Astra. Our Red Lester in your Fiesta. Or our Mayo in your Mondeo. All you need to do is try, click, and collect. Just go to Tesco.com, order your shopping, then click and collect. With the minimum basket spend now only £25. And if you fancy something a little more exotic, we can even put our pad thai in your cash kai. Try Click and Collect at tesco.com. Every little helps. Selected larger stores, booking charge may apply. See online for full terms and conditions. This one shouldn't take long. Of course, if it had a cover, I might not be bothered. Can't see what's under there. And then they'd have chained the back wheel. It would have taken me much longer, especially if the chain's off the ground. Makes it harder to cut. This one doesn't even have a lock on the front. So, in the time I've been talking to you, I've nicked it. Over 9,000 scooters and motorbikes were stolen in London last year. Lock your bike, chain the rear wheel, and cover it to make it harder to steal. Lock, chain, cover. The Met Police. For people who want to feel happier, stronger, fitter, get further, faster, better. For people who want to, but don't always manage to. It doesn't matter how you want to do it, who you want to do it with. It matters that you want to. Virgin Active. We'll find a way for you. Join in September and get 15% off each month on 12-month memberships. Visit virginactive.co.uk. Participating gyms. Terms and conditions apply. Did someone say winter sun? It's that time again. And this year at Jet2 Holidays, we're saying Cyprus. On this incredible island, you get it all. A choice of four- and five-star hotels, amazing ancient ruins for culture-packed days out, hiking and cycling trails for active adventures, and plenty of blue flag beaches for soaking up that winter sun. Book Cyprus now with just a £60 deposit. Jet 2 Holidays. Package holidays you can trust.
Data and are not protected, subject to availability and conditions. I didn't choose you, you chose me. When you broke from the crowd and pawed at my knee, soon you'll be feeling right at home. You'll be a bit unsure, but you're free to roam. What's good to chew? What's nice to nibble? Wet food? Dry food? Tin food? Kibble? You might sometimes be cheeky, not always wise. But I know I found love in those puppy dog eyes. Join the free VIP Puppy Club from Pets at Home for advice and exclusive offers, including 10% off your first shop in store. Visit petsathome.com forward slash puppy club or join in store. T's and C's apply. At Bloomberg.com, on the Bloomberg Business app, and at TikTok on Twitter, this is Bloomberg Radio. Now, a global news update. Hurricane downgraded. I'm Mike Moss. A holiday tragedy off the coast of Southern California. Numerous deaths are reported on a commercial dive boat burning off the coast of Santa Cruz Island. More from correspondent Jim Roof. There's a whole lot we still don't know. We just saw rescue officials take what appears to be a body from a boat loaded into an ambulance. That ambulance did not leave with lights and sirens, so it is safe to assume that victim has perished. Also, a woman arrived here at the U.S. Coast Guard station in Oxnard and taken into the station, presumably concerned about someone who may have been on that charter. We were told earlier by Petty Officer Mark Barney that 33 people are still missing at this time. Now, the latest on Hurricane Dorian. We're very much anxious as we watch Hurricane Dorian. That is Port St. Lucie City Manager Russ Blackburn on the long wait for the slow-moving Hurricane Dorian to more clearly reveal its direction. Coastal Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina all have imposed mandatory evacuations along the coastline. Right now, the storm is still battering the Bahamas. Christoph Isla Strachman is in Freeport. There's extensive flooding throughout the island. And uh, the winds, believe it or not, are actually increasing as time goes by. Winds at 155 miles per hour make it now a Category 4 hurricane. Flight cancellations at big airports in Florida, as we hear from correspondent Clayton Neville in Jacksonville. More than a 1,000 flights in and out of Florida have already been canceled. Airports in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and Orlando experiencing much of those cancellations. Mandatory evacuations in many coastal towns across the state now in effect. A lot of those started at 8 this morning. Here along the St. John's River in downtown Jacksonville this Labor Day, very quiet on the water, one boat in the distance and a jogger or two moving by, but many locals and visitors starting to hunker down and wait. Wall Street closed for Labor Day. I'm Mike Moss. Underage vaping is a serious problem. Last year, Juul Labs took actions to combat it, including stopping the sale of our non-traditional flavored Juul products to retail stores. Now we're going further with a series of new actions including a retail age verification system stricter than anything in place for alcohol or cigarettes. Combating youth vaping is the right thing to do and necessary for us to achieve our goal of providing an alternative for the world's 1 billion adult smokers. Learn more at Juul.com slash YP. Paid for by Juul Labs. Hey. Hey, Bench. What are you doing? I'm rubbing my blue emu on. Are you ready to go fishing? Fishing? You said we were going fishing this morning. I have 10 Gold Glove Awards. Oh, here we go again. Johnny Bench doesn't go fishing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Johnny Bench goes catching. Blue Emu supports healthy muscles and joints. Blue Emu, it works fast and you won't stink. Available at Nationwide Retailers and Amazon. On this Labor Day, a new survey says Americans feel better about their work than they have in years. Correspondent Jan Johnson reports. The survey conducted by the conference board found about 54% of American workers are pretty satisfied with their employment. That's up by nearly 3% from last year and marks a near record increase for the survey. Workers say they're fairly content, they'll keep their jobs, and millennials in particular say they expect to make more money in the near future. Downside, those who are asked gave a poor grade to what's considered the most important factor for satisfaction, expressing a dim view of whether there's room to grow in their current position. I'm Jan Johnson. The seven people killed and 22 were injured in a shooting rampage in West Texas have been remembered at a prayer vigil in Odessa. That is the city in which authorities ended the rampage by killing the 36-year-old gunman outside a busy movie theater complex. I'm Mike Moss. And I'm Mark Mills in the Bloomberg Radio Newsroom. U.K. lawmakers are planning to pass legislation forcing Prime Minister Boris Johnson to delay Brexit until January 31st, unless he can get a new agreement with the European Union by mid-October. 
Johnson's team have threatened an election if MPs back a plan by rebellious conservatives to rule out a no-deal split from the block. Two people familiar with the draft law told Bloomberg it would compel Johnson to seek a three-month delay if he's unable to get a new Brexit deal through the House of Commons by October 19th or to persuade lawmakers to back a no-deal departure. That would set January 31st as the new deadline for Brexit. Stock equity futures in the U.S. fell while European stocks climbed and Asian shares were mixed Monday after the latest China tariff hikes kicked in. Contracts on the three main U.S. indexes slipped on Monday, a day after President Trump's duties on $110 billion in Chinese imports came into effect alongside China. China's countermeasures. Stocks in Shanghai rose, however, as Chinese authorities vowed to support liquidity and growth. Christian Schultz, economics team director at Citigroup, says a trade deal is unlikely anytime soon. The likelihood that a deal uh, will be struck this year uh, seems to be waning uh, because the U.S. is escalating and China uh, isn't moving uh, enough. So we think uh, the elections next year, U.S. elections next year, are really um, probably a necessary threshold to, to then get to, to some sort of deal. Many students at universities and secondary schools across Hong Kong started the new academic year by going on strike. The demonstrations marked the beginning of two weeks of boycotts and rallies planned by student groups. The student strike follows a weekend of street clashes and travel disruptions that police described as a catastrophe. Global news 24 hours a day on air and at TikTok on Twitter. Powered by more than 2,700 journalists and analysts in more than 120 countries. I'm Mark Mills. This is Bloomberg. This is Bloomberg Best. Bloomberg Best is about the insight and the context that we get from our guests. It's a great way to catch up on some of the stories you might have missed on the Bloomberg. Stories you're not going to find in any other news organization. Bloomberg Best. Bloomberg's best stories powered by 2,700 journalists and analysts in more than 120 countries around the world. From the Bloomberg Interactive Broker Studio, I'm June Grosso. I'm Ed Baxter on this edition of Bloomberg Best. Creator and executive producer Lauren Michaels discusses the early days of Saturday Night Live with David Rubenstein, the co-chairman of the Carlisle Group. I thought that if we actually got on the air and did the show, that the people who were doing the show would stay home to watch. Michaels also talks about how humor on television has changed over time. John Belushi would not be able to play Japanese. Garrett Morris doing news for the hard of hearing would have been making fun of a handicap. Values change. Aerial Investments chairman and co-CEO John Rogers also sits down with Rubenstein to discuss his firm. We're one of those rare firms that has that 36-year record with the same portfolio manager in charge. And Rogers talks about his relationship with former President Barack Obama. I was totally confident confident in his ability to be the commander-in-chief, and so I encouraged him strongly to run. All this and more coming up in the next hour of Bloomberg Best. He created Saturday Night Live and turned it into a cultural icon. Lauren Michael sat down with Carlisle Group co-chairman David Rubenstein for a wide-ranging chat for Rubenstein's Bloomberg television show, Peer-to-Peer Conversations. In June, they discussed the show's evolution from its infancy with the original cast to now, how trends in comedy and censorship have changed, and what it takes to create the storied program. Did you think at the beginning that you were going to change television history and the history of comedy when you were starting that show in 1975? I don't think I thought of it in those terms, but I thought that if we actually got on the air and uh, did the show that the people who were doing the show would stay home to watch. Uh, I thought there were enough people like us because we'd all pretty much come from the audience. I was probably the, the person who'd had the most experience in television, but most people, it was the first time they'd been on television. So Most experience, but you were only 30 years old? 30, yeah. So the others were in their 20s? or Yeah, I think, uh, I think Dan Aykroyd was 22. I think John Belushi was 24. I think Gilda was 24. Chevy was a little older than me. Why would a 30-year-old be picked to produce this show? Uh, what was your background that enabled somebody to think you would have experience to do this? I, I think, first and foremost, there was very low stakes. You know, like, late night doesn't average in to prime time ratings, so it was no one's real responsibility, and Carson was on uh, five nights a week, and that was doing really well. So when I'd done television, and I'd done television in Los Angeles, 
uh, both in the late 60s and then when I moved back in 1972. And the more ambitious things that I would suggest or go in and uh, meet about, they'd always say it wouldn't work in prime time. Because uh, in those days, you needed a 40 share of the audience to uh, uh, to stay on the air. 40 share means 40% 40 of the people watching the audience television. is watching you. Okay. And so they'd say it won't work or it'll just work on the coast. Okay. And I was from Canada and uh, I kind of knew what, what was in between the coast. And uh, I thought there were plenty of people like me out there. And uh, it was a different generation. And if we could, we were at the beginning of the baby boom. I'd worked on shows like Laugh In as a writer, and uh, I'd done uh, several, well, shows with Lily Tomlin and Richard Pryor, and uh, which were always specials. And uh, uh, and I'd done enough that I sort of knew how you do it. Uh, and it was a question of putting together a show which was on some level uh, new wine in old bottles, you know, so I took elements of various variety shows and uh, knew that we'd be different because we'd be doing it. So you grew up in Toronto? Toronto, Canada. And yeah. did you grow up and say, I want to be a lawyer or a doctor like all nice young Jewish boys in no, those days? I think it was uh, my grandparents owned a movie theater and uh, I think from an early age, I think if asked in like the third grade what I wanted to do, I probably would have said lawyer because I think that's what you said or something like that. Now, but I would have wanted to be in the movies. And did you at one point say, I really want to make my career in Canada or at the big time is really in the United States? I thought uh, at the time, it was 1967 was the, the 100th birthday of Canada, centennial. And, uh, and there was an, a new spirit in the country and I thought uh, I'd be perfectly happy to be here the rest of my life and uh, and then uh, got an opportunity to do a show in California called the Beautiful Phyllis Diller Show, a variety show. And we'd written, I was working with a partner then, Hart Palmer, and said, we write and perform, and we'd wrote some stand-up for various, for Woody Allen, Joe Rivers, and people like that. Not that we influenced their careers, but... Uh, we'd had enough experience and we performed. So you picked a number of the famous people who later went on to great fame and fortune. Uh huh. And when the first show goes on, right when it's over, are you convinced you have a great hit forever or you're not sure? When we were beginning, and I've said this often, but I had all the ingredients, I just didn't have the recipe. So between the first show and the second show, we changed. Uh, the second show was Paul Simon. Uh, third show is Rob Reiner with Penny Marshall and by the fourth show we sort of found the show with Candy Bergen we found the show that um, resembles the show today. so that's Lauren Michaels the executive producer of Saturday Night Live speaking with Carlisle Group co-chairman David Rubenstein coming up the conversation continues with a focus on the early days of SNL this is Bloomberg for those fortunate enough to help the person who has always been their hero, find the care guides you need to help at aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. The news you need from across the globe. On Why is delivering the best client experience a top priority at BNY Mellon's Pershing? Michelle Feinstein, Director of Client Engagement, explains. Today's investors want a financial relationship that's on demand, customized, and leverages the latest digital technology. At BNY Mellon's Pershing, helping advisory firms and broker-dealers create great experiences for their clients is our priority. Through our integrated wealth experience, we give you a high-touch service, flexible technology choices, and expert insights, so you can deliver a highly personalized experience to your clients at every step, from onboarding to wealth planning, to performance analysis and more. And because we're part of BNY Mellon, you'll benefit from more than 230 years of strength and stability. At Pershing, we're personally invested in your success. Visit Pershing.com to learn more about Pershing's integrated wealth experience. Pershing LLC and Pershing Advisor Solutions LLC are both members of FINRA and SIPC. 
This is a Bloomberg Market Minute. Cannabis as perfume, it's joining the more than $52.5 billion global fragrance market. Bloomberg luxury reporter Claire Ballantyne says high-end names are building scents designed to highlight the aroma. And the prices reflect that. One called Chronic um, is by the Swedish brand 1969, and it's for um, $175 at Barney's. Then there are a couple from Malin and Gotas, retails for $165. Your everyday names have yet to jump in. So far, L'Oreal and Estee Lauder don't have um, specific cannabis brands, but the industry experts that we talk to say it could only be a matter of time. Ballantyne says creators are not trying to recreate the smell of weed. This is more to use it as an art. I think the one person I talked to said that perfume is a dream or an illusion. I think that's a great way to think of perfume in general. While marketing is mostly to women ages 15 to 35, Ballantyne says the scents are mostly unisex, which plays into the fact that many women buy their partner's fragrance. Patrice Sakora. At Tesco, we can pop our pasta in your Astra, our Red Lester in your Fiesta, or our Mayo in your Mondeo. All you need to do is try, click, and collect. Just go to tesco.com, order your shopping, then click and collect. With the minimum basket spend now only £25. And if you fancy something a little more exotic, we can even put our pad tie in your cash kai. Try, click, and collect at tesco.com. Every little helps. Selected larger stores, booking charge may apply. See online for full terms and conditions. This one shouldn't take long. Of course, if it had a cover, I might not be bothered. Can't see what's under there. And they'd have chained the bat wheel. It would have taken me much longer, especially if the chain's off the ground. Makes it harder to cut. This one doesn't even have a lock on the front. So, in the time I've been talking to you, I've nicked it. Over 9,000 scooters and motorbikes were stolen in London last year. Lock your bike, chain the rear wheel, and cover it to make it harder to steal. Lock, chain, cover. The Met Police. For people who want to feel happier, stronger, fitter, get further... Faster, better. For people who want to, but don't always manage to. It doesn't matter how you want to do it, who you want to do it with. It matters that you want to. Virgin Active. We'll find a way for you. Join in September and get 15% off each month on 12-month memberships. Visit virginactive.co.uk. Participating gyms. Terms and conditions apply. Did someone say winter sun? It's that time again. And this year at Jet2 Holidays, we're saying Cyprus. On this incredible island, you get it all. A choice of four- and five-star hotels, amazing ancient ruins for culture-packed days out, hiking and cycling trails for active adventures, and plenty of blue flag beaches for soaking up that winter sun. Book Cyprus now with just a £60 deposit. Jet2 Holidays. Package holidays you can trust. After and at all protected, subject to availability and conditions. Best. We continue the conversation between Saturday Night Live creator and executive producer Lauren Michaels and David Rubenstein, the co-chairman of the Carlisle Group. Now, they spoke on Rubenstein's Bloomberg television show, Peer-to-Peer Conversations, about the early days of SNL. The original idea was to have a cast of characters, uh-huh. the not-ready-for-prime-time players, as they yes. were called, and a host. A different host every week. Who was your host the first week, the first show? George Carlin. And was he... So funny in those days, you knew it would be a hit, or was he too no, complicated? No, I knew that he had for... monologues that would work, and I thought he was funny. I, the biggest controversy in that first show was the network uh, wanted him to wear a suit, a jacket and tie, and uh, he didn't want to. He wanted to wear a T-shirt. Uh, I was, it was not the biggest thing in my life. I was, let him wear what he wants, but... Uh, the compromise, which took up a lot of time on show day, was he wore a suit with a T-shirt, uh, which is the perfect solution. So did you have to have a censor to, for words that might not be appropriate? There was a lot, about, a, a lot of uh, discussions about what we could do and what we couldn't do, and, um, and what you could do at 11.30 and what you could do at midnight. I think that we sort of, we were, you know, all those phrases from the 70s, like cutting edge and pushing the envelope and all that. I think we were just trying to reflect life as we were living it. And also, 1975 is the end of the Vietnam War. 19, you know, what, uh, the president resigned. Uh, New York City was bankrupt. Uh, 
it was a little window that opened where it wasn't business as usual. All right. So yeah. from 1975, the late 70s or uh -huh. early 80s, how has humor changed? Are people laugh at the same kind of things or certain things you can make fun of now you couldn't or vice versa? Um, there's almost nothing we did in the 70s that I could do now. Tilda Radner would not be able to play Rosanna Zanardana. John Belushi would not be able to play Japanese. Uh, Garrett Morris doing news for the hard of hearing would have been making fun of a handicap. So it's it just all values change. And then I always say that between the movie Arthur and the movie Arthur Two, alcoholism became a disease. And no one wanted to laugh at drunks anymore, whereas for 200 years they laughed at drunks. So let's take people through how the show is actually produced. Uh, uh -huh. On a Monday, do you recover from the previous week, and do you actually go to work on Monday? And yeah, you know, we, we, we everybody has to show up Monday. I have a meeting which I've had from the beginning at five o'clock on Mondays, uh, which has all the writing staff, all the cast, the, the host, people from the music department, people from the film department, and uh, we all gather in my office. Uh, they gather on behind a desk, and uh, I go around the room and ask everybody what their uh, what their idea is and in your 45 years of doing uh -huh. this almost 45 years have you ever had a private equity person as a guest host not not um, yeah, not yet it's been suggested but really? never we haven't oh, done it well yet. maybe there's an opportunity at some point mm -hmm. so tuesday and wednesday you're kind of writing it you have a dinner with people then yeah. thursday and friday you do dress rehearsals or no uh, th we choose the show on wednesday uh we read 40 to 45 pieces uh looking for 13 or 14 once that's chosen, then the designers begin designing the sets. Then those plans go out to the shop late that night, and they start. Um, we, the film unit goes off to figure out how they're going to shoot the two or three pieces we're shooting. We are always assessing who has not as much to do as we'd like. Uh, and so uh, we've left the opening of the show and generally one or two spots open for anything that happens between okay. then and... And have you ever gotten worried that you picked the guest host who really isn't up to the task? Uh, yeah. And yeah. Do you, how do you coach them that maybe you could do a better job you, or be ready? You can get almost anyone through it. It's an odd hybrid because you're on stage. So th there are lots of people who are very good at that, but then there's also cameras. And also the script is constantly changing up to the last minute. So it takes a level of focus, and there's a point at which the host really just gives up and goes, I, you just have to trust it at this point, and that, we'll, that it will all come together. So I, in anticipation of yeah. my getting a chance to do yeah, this yeah. with you, you invited me to come to one of the shows yes. recently, and I was surprised how small the studio actually is. Yeah. Now, this is a studio that Arturo Toscanini conducted yeah. the NBC orchestra at one point. Yeah, it was built on springs, literally. I, he was The NBC Symphony Orchestra in Toscanini was that important. And Rockefeller Center had been built, so they put this in between floors so that the subway noise wouldn't affect it. A lot of that was changed when television came in because they thought sound wouldn't matter. Uh, turns out it did. Right. I noticed when I was there that you were walking around the set a bit, and uh -huh. I noticed sometimes when I watch on TV that you're staring at what's going on, and right. um, you don't smile that much when you're doing this. No. And, um, and do you ever think, uh-oh, this isn't going as well as I thought, so you tell the people, fix it or do something different in the middle of the show? No, I mean, there's some of that, but mostly it's about time. So the cast are good enough that if you are running a minute or two long, you can just go... And they understand, and they can just pick it up, go faster, or else we take a page out of something. And there are cases where you think you got a really funny sketch uh -huh. or script, and all of a sudden people aren't laughing in the studio, mm -hmm. or the reverse is where you're not sure it's that funny, and all of a sudden it becomes very funny? Yes. You choose the pieces on Wednesday, you rehearse them Thursday and Friday, and again Saturday afternoon in costume and makeup, and then you uh, you do a dress rehearsal, which is the first time three, four hundred people come in and see it. And whatever you thought, if they disagree, they're right. So we adjust from that. Things that you thought were surefire don't play, and things that a harder piece, if you play it early, it probably won't work. And so it's, it's where you play things, running order, 
and also topicality. So you don't get uh, people calling you from the, the network that owns you, let's say it's NBC is owned by Comcast yeah. now, saying, geez, you're being too tough on a political figure. They, they just leave you alone. No, they leave us alone. And the Comcast people have been brilliant because, uh, one, I don't think they want to be doing the show themselves, so there's that. And also, it's just been Steve Burke, Brian Roberts, just unwavering support. That's Lauren Michaels, the executive producer of Saturday Night Live, speaking with Carlisle Group co-chairman David Rubenstein. Coming up, David Rubenstein sits down with Ariel Investments chairman and co-CEO John Rogers. This is Bloomberg. My mother was always very active and independent, and she was familiar with her neighborhood. But one day, she stopped at the stop sign for much longer than usual. She wasn't even really sure where she was at. It's very important for you to talk to someone about it. I felt so much better after my son told me, Mom, we'll figure it out. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash ourstories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. Political crisis in Hong Kong and Bloomberg. Rich, Rich is just a really, oh, really, really good guy. The term good egg isn't enough to describe him. He's also certified organic and free range. Rich puts the cap back on everything. The toothpaste, the olive oil, the shampoo, everything. He lets his 10-year-old nephew beat him at virtual tennis, even though he can straight-up slay his 10-year-old nephew in virtual tennis. When the toilet paper is running low, Rich replaces the roll on the actual holder, not just on the back of the toilet. Rich is texting and driving. Rich? No. What are you doing, Rich? I was just telling everyone how great you are. Texting and driving? Makes good people look bad. Visit stoptextstoprex.org. A public service announcement brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. All money managers might seem the same, but while some give their clients cookie cutter portfolios, Fisher Investments tailors portfolios to your goals and needs. Some only call when they have something to sell. Fisher calls regularly, so you stay informed. And while some advisors are happy to earn commissions, whether you do well or not, Fisher Investments fees are structured so we do better. When you do better. In other words, we're on your side. Maybe that's why most of our clients come from other money managers. So if you're in or nearing retirement, talk with us and find out why investors are switching to and staying with Fisher Investments. Fisher Investments, clearly better money management. Investments in securities involve the risk of loss. Visit us at fisherinvestments.com to find out what we can do for you. From Tuesdays at KFC, gonna get you like, wow, pow, chow, kapow, get down right now. If you know how, then take a bow, because this deal's gonna raise a brow. Get nine pieces of original recipe chicken for an eye popping $5.99. What the? <laughs> Every Tuesday at KFC. Every Tuesday from August after September 3rd at participating restaurants subject to availability. At Tesco, we can pop our pasta in your Astra, our Red Lester in your Fiesta, or our Mayo in your Mondeo. All you need to do is try really clicking collect. Just go to tesco.com, order your shopping, then click so and collect. With the minimum yeah, basket spend now only £25. And if you fancy something a little more exotic, we can even put our pad side in your cash guide. Try click and collect at tesco.com. Every little helps. Selected larger stores, booking charge may apply. See online for full terms and conditions. This one shouldn't take long. Of course, if it had a cover, I might not be bothered. Can't see what's under there. And they'd have chained about the will. It would have taken me much longer, especially if the chain's off the ground. It makes it harder to cut. This one doesn't even have a lock on the front. So, in the time I've been talking to you, I've nicked it. Over 9,000 scooters and motorbikes were stolen in London last year. Lock your bike, chain the rear wheel, and cover it to make it harder to steal. Lock, chain, cover. The Met Police. For people who want to feel happier, stronger, 
fitter, get further, faster, better. For people who want to, but don't always manage to. It doesn't matter how you want to do it, who you want to do it with. It matters that you want to. Virgin Active. We'll find a way for you. Join in September and get 15% off each month on 12-month memberships. Visit virginactive.co.uk. Participating gyms. Terms and conditions apply. Did someone say winter sun? It's that time again. And this year at Jet 2 Holidays, we're saying Cyprus. On this incredible island, you get it all. A choice of four and five star hotels. Amazing ancient ruins for culture packed days out. Hiking and cycling trails for active adventures. And plenty of blue flag beaches for soaking up that winter sun. Book Cyprus now with just a £60 deposit. Jet 2 Holidays. Package holidays you can trust. After an protection. Subject to availability. Plus your first month's rent. No. No deposit. No problem. No. No. What are you doing? I don't Romans, like any of our preset radio stations. Ugh, we need a new car. With the Jaguar e pace at two nine nine a month on personal contract hire, you'll find a reason. That's better. And it's a Jaguar. Initial rental three thousand five hundred eighty eight pounds. Forty eight months term. Subject to status eight thousand miles per annum. Excess mileage and return conditions apply. No ownership option. End thirty first September. Participating retailers only. Jaguar contract hire. And after a fire aboard a commercial boat off the coast of Santa Cruz Island, California. Captain Monica Rochester of the Coast Guard says rescue calls came in in the middle of the night. Watchstanders overheard a mayday call via Channel 16 of an engulfed 75-foot commercial diving vessel with 39 people aboard. Five crew members were rescued by a passing ship, but 34 people remain missing. Patience is running thin for some of the residents of Florida's Space Coast. Fort Pierce Mayor Linda Hudson. I think what has been difficult is it's getting kind of tedious. It's been a long time, and now now it's hovering still, so it's going to be a long time, and I think people get impatient. Now a Category 4 hurricane, Dorian is still a very potent storm with winds of 155 miles per hour. President Trump has approved emergency declarations for Georgia and South Carolina. Wall Street closed for Labor Day. I'm Mike Moss. Underage vaping is a serious problem. UK lawmakers are planning to pass legislation forcing Prime Minister Boris Johnson to delay Brexit until January 31st, unless he can get a new agreement with the European Union by mid-October. Johnson's team have threatened an election if MPs back a plan by rebellious conservatives to rule out a no-deal split from the bloc. Two people familiar with the draft law told Bloomberg it would compel Johnson to seek a three-month delay if he's unable to get a new Brexit deal through the House of Commons by October 19th or to persuade lawmakers to back a no-deal departure. That would set January 31st as the new deadline for Brexit. Stock equity futures in the U.S. fell while European stocks climbed and Asian shares were mixed Monday after the latest China tariff hikes kicked in. Contracts on the three main U.S. indexes slipped on Monday, a day after President Trump's duties on $110 billion in Chinese imports came into effect alongside China. China's countermeasures. Stocks in Shanghai rose, however, as Chinese authorities vowed to support liquidity and growth. Christian Schultz, economics team director at Citigroup, says a trade deal is unlikely anytime soon. The likelihood that a deal uh, will be struck this year uh, seems to be waning um, because the U.S. is escalating and China uh, isn't moving uh, enough. So we think uh, the elections next year, U.S. elections next year, are really um, probably a necessary threshold to to then get to, to some sort of deal. Many students at universities and secondary schools across Hong Kong started the new academic year by going on strike. The demonstrations marked the beginning of two weeks of boycotts and rallies planned by student groups. The student strike follows a weekend of street clashes and travel disruptions that police described as a catastrophe. Global news 24 hours a day on air and at TikTok on Twitter. Powered by more than 2,700 journalists and analysts in more than 120 countries. I'm Mark Mills. This is Bloomberg. Broadcasting live from the Interactive Broker Studio in New York. Bloomberg 1130. To Washington, D.C. Bloomberg 991. To Boston. Bloomberg 1061. To San Francisco. Bloomberg 960. To the country. Sirius XM Channel 119. And around the globe. The Bloomberg Business App and BloombergRadio.com. This is Bloomberg Best. I'm June Vosso. And I'm Ed Baxter. 
Noted value investor John Rogers of Ariel Investments started his firm when he was just 24 years old. Rogers is chairman and co-CEO of the company, and he sat down with Carlisle Group co-chairman David Rubenstein for a wide-ranging chat. Here's part of their interview on Rubenstein's Bloomberg television show, Peer-to-Peer Conversations. So you've been doing value investing for 36 years. What is a value investor? Yeah, a value investor is someone who's looking for bargains. We're trying to find stocks that are selling at a 40% discount to what we think their private market value is. We want to make sure it's got a low P-E ratio, a strong balance sheet, and has the ability to really withstand the inevitable storms that happen in the stock market. Now, Warren Buffett, is he a value investor? He's the greatest value investor of all time. You know, sometimes people talk about whether Michael Jordan is better than LeBron James. There's no question when it comes to investing that Warren is the best of ever, the best ever. Okay, but value investing, as I understand it, is easier done when the markets are down. When the markets are high, there aren't as many bargains. So what have you been doing the last 10 years because the markets have been very high? Well, it's been interesting. Uh, we were able to buy some terrific bargains um, right around March of 2009 when the market was bottoming. And we got some great brands, companies like CBS and Royal Caribbean, CB Richard Ellis, and true bargains. But as the markets recovered, some, some sectors have stayed really, really cheap. In particular, media. You know, we love companies like Viacom and Madison Square Garden Network. Those stocks are still really cheap. Financial services companies, some that you know well, companies like Lazard or KKR, there are some sectors of the market that just seem to be totally neglected, even as the market's recovered. All right, let's talk about the economy. The United States economy uh, was in a recession that ended in June of 2009, and so now for about 10 years, we've been in a growth cycle, and um, it's one of the longest growth cycles in our country's history. But therefore, there haven't been a lot of depressed stock prices for this period of time. So are you kind of hoping that at some point there's a recession so we can get lower stock prices? You can buy more things at value prices? We like to buy bargains. We like seeing sectors that are cheap, but we don't want to see a recession. You know, all the turmoil that happens, you know, the impact on our society and our citizens, you know, recession's not great for America. So let's suppose I say, I watched you and you're a good value investor. I'll give you some money. What kind of rate of return can I expect from your products? Well, you know, over the 36 years, uh, we've been able to compound money at roughly 11% a year. Uh, and that's something we're really proud of. Our aerial fund has been around since 1986, so it's 33 years old, and uh, it's actually number one in this category going back to that period of time. But the neat thing is that we're one of those rare firms that has that 36-year record with the same portfolio manager in charge. I've been fishing in the same fishing pond of not only value stocks, but small and mid-sized valued stocks the entire time frame. We have a great team of people that I work with who have been with me, signing have been with me close to 30 years. 